this is the Provoke Prawn, and in this video I want to talk to you about how to install PC fans, and more importantly, how not to install them, as I've done here. And this is really easy to do because a lot of modern PC fans have an aesthetic to them, which makes them pleasurable to put in certain directions. The back of the fan often has struts and wires on it that doesn't look nice, and the front obviously has a much nicer looking aesthetic, so it's far too easy to install fans in a certain direction just for the aesthetic purposes. And I've made mistakes in the past, as you can see with the Corsair Crystal 680X here, where I installed fans purposely the wrong way around for the view of the RGB. This obviously potentially has a negative impact on performance. So I wanna talk about the basic logic of fan setup, how fans work, and more importantly, where to install them for the best performance and the best airflow. In this demo video, I'm gonna be showing you some Noctua fans, but it will work with other fans as well. The logic is basically the same from fan to fan. So you obviously have an airflow logic to fans where they suck air from one direction and push it in another. The usual case in most cases, and this is 99.99% recurring of fan setups, is that the airflow is simply from front to back. So the front of the fan pulls the air through and then it's pushed out of the back. So if you're trying to suck air, you need to put it so that the front faces the direction you want to suck it from and the rear blows out. You can see me trying to demo this here with a bit of card where essentially the rear of this fan should be blowing and then the front is sucking because the card will get stuck to it and I'll demo this a bit more successfully later on but essentially so you need to just set it up with this sort of logic applied. You also need to think about other things so for example not putting fans in close proximity where they'll be fighting each other so you can see I've got a fan facing one way and another fan facing a completely different way there and they're obviously going to impact each other. Now, there are usually arrows on the fan housing that you can see here, for example, which shows you the flow of airflow. So if you're not quite sure, based on what I've been saying, you can see how that's going to work. And here I'm running some smoke through some Corsair fans just to demonstrate this effect. So you can see that was pulling air through with the front facing it. And now with the rear, you can see the smoke's being blown away and then again sucked through if you face it in the right direction. So I'll apply some more of that logic later on. Now what I've done is I've taken the Lian Lee Dynamic Air Case and I have stripped it out completely from my previous build and rebuilt in it just for the purposes of this video. I am intentionally installing fans in the wrong direction. So this is not meant to be a perfect build. It is a demo on what not to do. So here I'm setting up the fans on the radiator, which is mounted to the side or back of the case, depending on your view. And I'm setting them up so they'll be pulling cold air in from the rear. So pulling cold air in from the rear of the case through the radiator to cool that down. Actually, I have tested both directions with this, and I'd suggest it isn't a problem either way, depending on the logic of the case. This might work quite well, actually, because you're basically cooling the rad down and sort of drawing warm air into the case but there are some other considerations. Now what I'm doing is I'm front mounting some fans and these are the wrong way around again. So usually with front mounted fans, you want to install them so they pull cold air into the case and basically then blows that across the, your GPU and your motherboard and then exhaust out of the top and the rear. But I'm doing completely the wrong logic here because I've installed intake fans on the top and then exhaust fans on the bottom and the front and I basically have it set up so that it's pulling air in from wrong directions and blowing it out in other ways. So here we've got basically cold air is being sucked in through the radiator but it's then being blown out immediately by the front fans and the bottom fans and the top fans are set to intake. Now naturally hot air rises, so you want to try and follow that logic. So essentially you don't want to do this. You can see that I've got exhaust on the front and the bottom and then intake on the side and top. Logic says that that way I'm now trying to force the hot air that's rising downwards and also the cold air that could potentially be pulled in out. And so I'm basically fighting the logic of how physics works and, and essentially making life a bit more difficult. I am, however, potentially pulling air from above the case onto the RAM and onto the CPU cooler. So it could still work in some ways, but this is not optimal. So this is not the way to do it. 
no, this performance won't be as good as it could be because heat's naturally going to rise from the CPU, from the motherboard, from the RAM and from the GPU, as you'll see in a minute. And so we're fighting all of that logic and the fans will have to work harder for it. Now, if I set the smoke machine up at the front of the case and try and blow air into it, imagine that this is cold air trying to go into your case. You can see the front of the case is now blowing that cold air away from the machine and the bottom fans are also doing the same so rather than sucking cold air up into the bottom it's being blown away so that is obviously not ideal now you wouldn't want smoke going into your pc but you would want air going in there and now it isn't once i've got the gpu mounted there's basically no cold air blowing onto it from below or from the front which is not ideal because most gpus operate with the fans below pulling air onto them and then exhausting it out of the rear where the connectivity ports are. You can see that in this setup, I do have some intake, but it's basically the opposite way around to what it should be. And no matter what direction you try and send the air in, or in this case, the smoke, it's getting blown away from the components that need the cooling. Also in this position with this setup, I am essentially making the GPU and the case fans fight each other. So the graphics card fans are trying to suck cold air in but the fans on the bottom are also sucking it out. So essentially they're going in the wrong direction. So the hot air is rising and getting sucked up, but also it's getting air for flowing in the wrong directions and it's completely illogical and doesn't make any sense. So the end result is a case that theoretically looks okay at a glance because all the fans are certainly spinning, although the cables are a mess, but I've done that intentionally because I don't plan on leaving it like this but it obviously isn't going to work very well. So don't do this. Make sure you've got the right logic. Front fans set to intake, bottom fans set to intake, exhaust fans on the top and the rear. You've made it right to the end of the video, you brilliant legend you. If you've enjoyed it, click that subscribe button, give me a thumbs up, and drop me a comment down below if you've got any questions. If you really enjoyed it, consider joining the channel and see the benefits of doing so. Check out these other videos. You might well find them interesting or useful. And most importantly, have a great life.